But make no mistake about it, folks, there's a WMC Super Middleweight Pro title on the line tonight. They don't just hand these out. You don't get one with your, with your, you know, with your waste disposal credits. Can't pick one up at Coles. <laughs> and this boy's been to the top of the mountain a couple of times. Typically very well turned out. The pride of Ipswich. Storms his way into centre ring. And this fight was actually put together by NRF Australia. So we were able to get this match for Nick Trust, who's one of our long-time members. Very good fighter and very good job from NRF. Encourage anyone who's fighting even at a novice amateur level to get involved. You need people like that to help chart your career. So Cody Trey is, um, as they told me out the back, he's got joint custody with his stable. Of full Force and Reese Saliba of Machete yep. Muay Thai. So they said they've got joint custody of him. They both train. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if is, is Reinhardt the daddy? Yeah. <laughs> not a bad stable, just quietly. Not not uh, a bad set of Muay Thai daddies to have. That's right. The Machete, geez, he was good to watch. Yeah, he, he's beautiful style. He was slick. Absolutely slick. And he fought the best of the best. I mean, he was in that top bracket for so long, but Absolutely. he also fought. It didn't matter. And at that weight, at that sort of junior middleweight and, and, and you know, lightweight to junior middleweight weight, he and even up to middleweight, he took anyone. He's not done yet, he tells me. Yes, I did say to him, semi-jokingly, are you fighting? He's like, oh, oh yeah, I will. <laughs> in time. In his blood. Nick Trask. I reckon I called Nick Trask at CMT nearly 10 years ago. <laughs> Long time in so the business. Nick's uh, WMC Queensland champion and now he's going for the Australian title. And this is a really good matchup. You know, you guys should be, I think, really happy with it. Yeah, I'm very excited to see, I mean, obviously seeing Nick fight multiple times. To see Cody fight, you know, I've heard heard good things about him. So Cody be a really good match. As well, is deceptively tall. Like he's he's six three, I think six four. He's he's big, you know. Um, and you just don't until he comes out here. He's that same sort of height and build as like a Brad Trainer or someone. Yeah, you know, yeah. And Nick, of course, has been there, done that. As I said, been to the top of the mountain and back a few times. favourite fighters, JWP and Carnage, again showing his age. <laughs> You've got to say new stuff, don't you? You can't. Five three-minute rounds, folks. The cut-off for super middleweight. Professionally, 76.2 kilos. Both men coming in at on the button, there or thereabouts. So Nick weighed in, yeah, right on, 76.2, like a professional. And Cody came in under at 76 kilos. 76. Big thanks to Rapid Equipment Hire. They're in Kunda Park, if you're ever up here. Ten years in business, locally owned. They've got... We're nearly ready to go. It's important that someone reminds us that it's round one. Trying to keep people in a job. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> 
final fight of the evening. It's been a cracker. Massive thanks to Sunshine Coast Harley Davidson. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is sponsored by our platinum sponsors, Sunshine Coast Harley Davidson. Stop stealing my line. Why not book a test ride on the motorcycle you have always wanted? There you go. Just give them the opportunity to win your business. That's all we ask. Here we go. Trask and Jamison. Trask starts out with the hands. Works low. Gets one reciprocated. Pushed off by the taller Jamison. Nick pushing forward with his hands. Nice body kicking there from Jamison who loops out a centre ring. Attempted sweep. Inside. Oh. Definite step up already in class with the greatest of respect to our previous fights, Molina. You can definitely see the difference between professional and amateur fights. Yeah, these guys picking beautiful teeth to the face, picking their shots, and everything that lands is hurting. Jamison stalks Trask with so much experience, body kicking strong. Beautiful body kick snap from Jamison. Step through elbow. Fakes again to Trask. Spins his man around. Unsettled by the team. That right hand of Trask. Beautiful push kick. Nice to watch early from both men. Extended rounds for this professional title fight. Five by three. One minute remaining is three. Jab. It's exchanged from both men. Kicks exchange. Early days, Trask marked up underneath that right elbow there, Molina. Jamison goes low, Trask goes low inside and then outside. Bag of tricks from Nick. Right hand snuck through. 20 to go. Beautiful tape. Working well straight as Trask. Kicking hard, Jamison, isn't he? He's got really nice technique on those kicks. Well, wh that was nice. I like it. What do you see here? Jamison was just looping his legs right like you said that technique and Nick Trask looked really good when he was firing straight I felt. Yeah. Very rangy Jamison and get that shin up to the neck. Both of them pulling off some tricky shots too. Absolutely and Nick had some inside outside gear going which was cool. You got to think with Run Up and uh, Reese Saliba in your corner that elbows are going to come oh, into she, equation at some stage. They don't call the bloke the, the machete for, <laughs> <laughs> for no reason. Scott Sparks, Adam Christopher, and many more. Trask up off his seat. Gold sponsors Sun Coast, Concrete, and Pumping. In the today. So round two of five. Nick Trask circling like a bull. You can see him he's there. Ready he's, to a, go. he's always been such a physically imposing guy at any weight that he's fought. You know, he's a he's a well conditioned guy. He never turns up out of shape. But he would know already straight away that 
he's in a proper fight. That's right. But he's got a quality opponent across the room, as would Cody, to be honest. And I saw Nick do this in his last fight too. You know, he paces like a lion and it really... Focuses him. Yeah, I really, guess. really does well for him. Cody Trey Jamison in the blue. Nick Trask in the red for the WMC Super Middleweight Pro title. Ref just calling for the corner to clean up the water on the ring. We're back at it. Lost 10 or so seconds there. Trask aims to tape. And that's the problem if you miss at this level. The receipt's coming and you know it, right? That's right. That body kick from Jamison, that one there, that's going to become a problem. Nice jab from Trask. Followed by a nice solid kick from Jameson. Jab sinks through with the lead right, I should say. Nice kick in from Nick, but he want to be careful hanging on the ropes there. Inside from Jamison. Beautiful body kicking again from the full force machete boy. Lovely elbow from Nick. Jamison slipping nicely. Oh, straight to the chin. Beautiful teep into uppercut. And the left hand connected there too. Just starting to open up the taps, both boys. A minute in this second round. That rear leg, or that lead leg kick, I should say, of Jamison's is a weapon. Less than a minute to go in our second round of action. Trask looking to use his hands. They've been superior. Yeah, he's, he's, throwing, he's getting that right, and he's missing a couple of times, but I think if that connects, it's going to do some damage. See? Again, I asked the question, at what point does that body kicking come into play and limit his lateral movement? Lead leg is the call from Reese Saliba. Ten seconds remaining. Let's go for the fight now. Switching stances nicely. Closes distance, Trask. Really does. Not long to go in this one. Accumulation. But I tell you, Melina, as good as Nick Trask is at straight punching and working his way through, that kicking from Jamison is brutal. And you can see he's doing a lot of damage, Jamison, to that lead leg. And then he's going upside to the ribs. I mean, there's too many, there's, there's a lot of threats. It's the perfect example of using your length, isn't it, and your timing. That's it. Because he's not, he's not throwing it with grunt, but he's whipping. Yeah. Yeah, you see just there. And it's off both legs too. That's the problem. There you go. And then he'll throw one off the lead. He'll switch up. So, But Nick Trask is giving him trouble with the leather. Yeah, for sure. And Nick's uh, also coming uh, good with his teeps and push kicks. Yeah, and, and you know, again, 41 professional fights. I don't need to speculate on what Nick Trask has to do. He knows what he has to do. He's doing a great job. Another beautifully matched fight from NRF. If you've got some time, Jump onto your app store on your mobile app and look up Click to Fight, which is our free mobile fight app. And I can just arrange a fight in my suburb with a 
Okay. I can just arrange a flight in my suburb. Is that, is that how it will work? In the car park? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like Tinder, flights. but for bits. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly how I uh, explain it to people. <laughs> <laughs> That's Tinder for fighters. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's got the rankings on there for Muay Thai. Thank God. For so long, there was, and I guess this is why you do what you do. It was bugger all research, and you know, you couldn't moneyball this at all. Round three, folks. Jamison and Trask. It's Trask with the kick early. Jamison now showing he's got hands. Nice kick there by Jamison. Good exchange of hands and again Jamison. Everything's just got a, a strike with that lead leg. Again, that body shot, and Nick just wins the fraction there. He's trying to... He's taken a few steps there. Two steps, he's getting reminded there. Now he's getting his kicking game going. Second there from Trask. Jamison getting the attention up top because you know what's coming soon after. Cagey, both fighters. Nick starting to show both. I don't know. He's got a smile on his face. Two minutes to go in round three. Kicks outside. Step up knee, nice from Nick. Right, left to the body, I should say. Cody. Very square, Cody, isn't he? He's very... Flat, but he's so dangerous off that lead leg that he can stand wherever he wants. That's it. Beautiful tape walking through. Trask starting to get into his work now. He's making Jamison miss a couple of times. Wasn't exactly the case in the first few rounds. Low blow. No. Yeah. Carry on. Professionals, the difference. Oh, huge left hook attempt there from Jamison. 40 to go. Round three. Outside leg kick from Trask is better, and then, oh my God, the receipt. Lands on the gloves. Cagey. Cagey from both men. Skipping in is Trask. Push kick. Just finding his rhythm again. Gloves at his guard. The, the high guard from Nick Trask has saved his bacon that many times. Better round for Nick Trask there. Yeah. I felt. Yeah. Busier. Kicking more will... No doubt seeing our replay, but two to go, in my opinion, it's Cody to lose. Yeah. Um, but Nick much better in that round. Again there, just allowed two steps to do your business in if you catch a kick. Shout out to our sponsors, Sunshine Coast Harley Davidson. Hooks working nicely, Nick kicking there very effectively. But there was a body kick for him about halfway through the round from Jameson. That was just crack. Well, six minutes worth of work. That's what the officials will allow for someone to lay claim to the WMC Professional Super Middleweight Australian title. Will it be the bull Nick Trask who is circling the yard again? I love that. This. He's like, I know you gave me everything, but I don't give a shit. Yeah. I'm still here. Jamison doesn't look too faced himself, perhaps breathing a little heavier than the last round. That's to be expected. He's in a world-class fight at the moment. Yeah. 
That's it. Nick wants this WMC Australian title. He's, he's looking focused for it. Jamison wants the same thing. He's got to do something to nullify that kicking game. And would you suggest the best thing is for him to kick himself? He, he just looked so much better there, Nick, when he was busy with his feet. Yeah. Seconds now. Round four, ladies and gentlemen. Round four. Championship round with Trask in red. Beautiful. Slow, sneaky. He started rounds Our well, Nick Trask. For the WMC professional super middleweight Australian title. And now he, he gets busy. Ball. He's unloading. But he's leaving himself open. That's the only difference. But I'm busy at Nick Trask early in this fourth. Backs off slightly. Jamison again to that bit, that body. Nice combo there by Trask. Push forward. Still moving well, Trask, as is Jamison. Jamison's landing some kicks unanswered. Beautiful. Straight left there. The thing with Jamison being so square is he can flick, he can switch super quickly. Tape to the face. Skips in. We've seen little to no grappling in this fight. Both men quite okay to just strike it out. That's it. Who wants to see some elbows? Not the doctors. Um. Kick to the body by Jamison. Good hooking though from Nick and cops a tape that unsettles him and an elbow down there. Big how, many, leg kick. how many times do you reckon Ryan Hapadato's yelled out elbow in his life? <laughs> Conditioning of both men to be commended. Absolutely. And when we're deep in the fourth and it's been a busy fight, Molina, and lots of heavy stuff landed and they're both still going and technically fantastic. Body kick number 300 lands from Jamison. Just looks a little frustrated, Nick Trask, at the moment. Just needs to get into his rhythm. He's being upset by that kicking game again. Of Jamison, beautiful right hand. Right oh, the, uh, shin to the, the neck. <laughs> Things getting through, as you would call it, Molina, unanswered at the moment. Ten seconds remaining in round four. And we will go to a go! final round. Is there anything can happen in round five? I had to see that one. <laughs> you hate it when I ask you that, but I'm going to do it. Because I talk too much. Round four, <laughs> down Let's have a look at this replay. There is only one round left to decide the WMC Professional Super Middleweight Australian title. I'd like to say, Melina, that Nick looked busier. Initially, and he was really getting on his bike, but that last minute or so, Jamison just landing jabs and teeps and whatever he wanted. Makes me guess. But this is for a, a vacant Australian title? Ah, uh, yes. So there's no champion here, so there's no... You have to absolutely beat someone totally, yeah. absolutely. There's three minutes to go. Again, I'm going to commend these men and their gyms on their conditioning. They four barnstorming rounds and they're just ready to go. That's it. Professional. You see them having their conversations in the corner to, with their corner and having a good time in there. <laughs> Very calm. You know. And, and that's the thing, you know, you, you get that in these corners, don't you? The Stone Cold Killers aren't normally that intense and 
And Reese Saliba, do some, boy, could he do some damage. Yeah. And I don't think he's raised his voice. Yeah, he's a lovely guy. Final round time, folks. Hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go for our third and final round. This has been worthy of an Australian title were it to finish now. But lucky for us, there are three minutes left, Melina. It's Melina Young. That's me. And Melina Young. And myself, Luke Bex Tui. Bex Tui. Cody Trey Jamison in those black shorts. The red gloves are on Nick Trask. This is the Australian Super Middleweight Pro WMC title. And anything can happen in this final round. Suggest potentially the Sydney Sider has had the best of those opening four rounds, but it's not to say that Nick Trask has been out of it at all, so it can be seen by our three judges anyway. Lots of slapping. Yeah, so far they're, they're, they're going shot for shot. Both throwing with a lot of intention. The supercomputer brain of Melina Young just calculating each shot. I can't calculate. That's right, that's the one thing you can't do. Tying up. Will we see our first grapple? Nice. Need and a face. Unconventional but effective there from Nick Trask. Skipping forward. Trask. Five shots, I reckon. One and a half landed, but it's it's a busy Nick Trask again. Minute and a half to go on this final round. Flashes out the kick. Still moving, still busy, Trask. Ladies and gentlemen, there's one minute Jamison has to work now. He's moved around and potted for a while. But there we go. He steps in. Beautiful combination. Left hook into elbow. Under a minute remaining. 45 seconds. Lovely body kick. It sways out of the way of that right hand. Trask certainly landing in this last round, Melina, but nothing with real start. He's, he's definitely landing, though. 30 to go. 30 to go. Someone's got to bring this home. This is where you can make an Im impact on the crowd and the judges. And it's Trask who's skipping forward. He's got the local support. It's a quiet yes, banana vendor. Because this has been absorbing. These guys have got to throw everything out here right now. Jamison skips difference. in with an elbow. And we are done. We'll go to the scorecards on this one. You know I have to ask you. No. I refuse. <laughs> as, it's our job as commentators to speculate on who won and then get proven wrong by people who are actually qualified yeah. to judge. <laughs> you realise that, right? So, final round highlights here. I'm going to go out on a limb. Love Nick Trask and thought he brought plenty. Certainly brought plenty of balls because he just kept coming. But I think the more telling blows were landed across the fight more often by Cody Trey Jamison. But in saying that, I am more than happy if this goes to the red corner because I'm, I'm, that's my sort of thought. That's not my, I'll go to my grave thought. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not a judge for a reason. <laughs> no, and look, we just call what we see, right? But you've got to remember there's three judges for a reason that's too. That's right. Half of that fight, each at any given time during that fight, unless they're side on, these fighters have their back to us. Yeah. So we can't even off the screen, we can't call it. And so. that's a lot of the time too. The ref is in front of me and I can't see what's going yeah, on. Yeah, as skinny as Justin Gibbons is, but uh, he's, he's still in the road. But um, some nice shots. Those body shots for me were probably the defining factor. Have you said who's going to be sore tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Plenty of respect in centre ring. 
How does Ryan Hart, how does Ryan Hart Badato look that good at 55? I know. It's crazy, eh? He's got the Asian genes. Yeah. i got, well, I got plenty of Filipino mates don't look that good. <laughs> Shout found, out. Found the fountain of youth. To uh, Vaughn and to Michael. Fantastic people. Had a lot of good times with them over the years. That's our the hard out crew. And Nick Trask looks a million dollars, looks like he can go again. Always worry when it takes this long for us to come up with a decision. But we have one and we'll go in moments up to the aggressor. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of professional full Muay Thai rules, we have a new WMC professional super middleweight Australian title holder. Fighting out of the red corner, your new title holder, Nick TNT Trash! Well, there you go, folks. A great fight.